Hi, this is Christian Cantrell, and I just wanted to do a quick video to explain Chrome flags, specifically what they are and how to use them. One of the things I really like about Chrome is that it's always on the cutting edge in terms of web standard support. In fact, Chrome is so cutting edge that it actually ships with a lot of features and functionality that are experimental and or haven't been standardized yet in order to let developers and end users get some experience playing around with them. But since most of these features aren't fully baked yet, both in terms of implementation and standardization, they're typically disabled by default. So to turn them on, you use Chrome flags. Um, you can also use about flags, which is uh, essentially the same thing. The, the two are more or less synonymous, and uh, that just redirects to Chrome flags. And what you get is a big list of things that you can turn on or off in order to change the behavior of Chrome. So let me show you an example. I'm going to go over to this animation called Rocker Check. Uh, this is uh, an animation that I did uh, with artwork from Chris Trojanus. It's using request animation frame uh, to do the animation, which means that uh, I should be able to get 60 frames per second. And since I'm using Canvas, it should be hardware accelerated. Now I have the frame rate throttled down to about uh, 28 frames per second, um, which gives me the, the fluidity that I want with this animation. Um, so in order to actually see the frame rate that I'm getting, I can go over here to Chrome Flags and search for FPS. And I find that there's a, uh, there's a frame counter built into Chrome, which shows a page's actual frame rate in terms uh, in frames per second when hardware acceleration is active. And since I'm using Canvas, then uh, it should be hardware accelerated. So I'm going to click on Enable here. And then I'm going to click on this Relaunch Now button at the bottom, which is kind of subtle. So don't forget to relaunch your browser, because if you don't, it won't take effect. And when I go back to the Rocker Check animation, I can see my frame rate up here in the left-hand corner. And I'm getting just about 28 frames per second, which is exactly what I'm expecting. Another example, uh, this is a document which uses CSS regions for layout, but as you can see, it doesn't look very good because regions are not enabled. So I'll go over here to Chrome Flags, uh, search for CSS regions, click Enable. Once again, don't forget to relaunch your browser. And when I go back, then I get the layout that I'm expecting. CSS regions are now enabled. There we go. Now you can also use this URL um, what is it, uh, Chrome About, to get a list of all the different URLs that support uh, additional functionality in the browser or expose additional information. So for instance, you can get some detailed version information about Chrome uh, by typing in Chrome version. So instead of having to remember all of them, um, if you just remember Chrome About, then it will list all of them for you. Now another way to uh, get your hands on the latest and greatest features in Chrome is to use Chrome Canary, as in Canary in the coal mine. Uh, so if you like browsing on the edge, uh, then you can start using Canary on a regular basis. Uh, I know several people who use Canary uh, exclusively, actually, in order to, to get um, sort of all the latest features, which haven't actually made it into the release version of Chrome yet. So that's kind of cool. Now, the last thing I want to show you is that um, you can control some of Chrome's behavior through command line flags in addition to, uh, to the flags in the user interface here. So in order to do that, uh, I'm going to launch, actually I'm going to launch Chromium here from the command line. And I'm going to pass in this command line flag called visit URLs, which uh, points to a text file which lists a few URLs. So, um, you might imagine a scenario like this being useful if you found a crasher which manifests itself uh, in a couple of different sites and you want to test to see if you fix the crasher. So you uh, add the URLs to this text file and you want to automate the process. So you launch the, uh, launch the browser this way, point it to that text file, and it's going to cycle through these URLs and then it's going to quit at the end of it. Uh, I have um, lots of other uh, resources that uh, I can point to in order to show you various um, information you can get out of Chrome and various uh, functionality that is not enabled by default. Um, this, that's uh, cool to use both for end users to play around with certain features and for developers. 
uh, I'll put those resources in the blog post and I'll put a link to the blog post in the video description. So if you want to find out more, uh, check out the blog post.